Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in the Lord, and especially my young friends. I miss you. Our theme today is watch and pray. And I have two sides to it. Let us pray so when we go into it, don't miss any one of the two. Let's go. Our Father, we thank you for this afternoon. We thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. Our theme today is watch and pray. Speak to us so in both watches and praying, we would be right to do. You are a good father. And you teach us our right. We ask us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us join Joyfully Incorporated as a sing about one of the watches. The watches is to wait out and look out into heaven and forward to receiving Jesus Christ when he comes back. The second coming of Jesus Christ is imminent. And so let's prepare for it. Eraze Beba. for reminding us that Jesus is going to come again and whether we are prepared for him or not in all the marrying and the working and the schooling and the running around and all we should be mindful he surely is going to come let's go and read our word today our scripture is from Matthew 24 from verse 42 to 51 
Matthew 24, verse 42, reading through to 51. Let us hear the word of God. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at a time or an hour you do not expect. Who then is a faithful servant and wise servant, who his master has set over his household to give them their food at a proper time? Blessed is the servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of all that of those servants will come on a day when he does not expect him, and an hour he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the word of God. So let's share the homily that we have this afternoon. From what we have been reading, a man or God has gone away on his journey and put some people in charge of what he owns and look after property and persons. And he's put them in charge so that he will look after them and then they will. And that's what we have been given as ministers and as parents, as brothers and sisters, as friends. We have been given a charge to look after one another in preparation for the Lord's coming to make sure that none of us is lost. So we must be ready. Let us not be like this watchman. His master wakes up and is going to work. And then he runs to the master. Master, master, master. Please, I had a dream. You had won the lottery and things were going well for you. The master said, I have fired you. You can understand why he was fired. He was supposed to be on guard as a watchman. He was supposed to be looking after the property of the master whilst the master slept. And he did not. He thought he was giving the master some good news. He's won the lottery. But the master was not interested in winning the lottery. The master was interested in making sure what he has is really safeguarded. In the same way, God is expecting that what he's giving us and what we have it's all kept and properly looked after so that no one, no one is lost. Keeping guard, as the translation of the word watch uh, in, in the scripture we read today, is to watch overnight, watch and keep guard at night. A night watchman must even be more vigilant than a day guard, a daytime guard. There, are, there may be no indications of the enemy attacking, but he must be hyper vigilant because in the dark you don't know how and when and, and, and who and whether they are one or two and they can jump in. In the same way, we also must be vigilant. We don't know what the devil is going to do or use, which route he's going to, and how the many myriads of temptations and worries he gives us that will sway us and get us astray from the word of God. Jesus is warning us that we must we should not be distracted. And then we are deceptively dis, um, blown away. If we remain vigilant and stay in tune and be ready for the day of, of, of his coming, we will overcome the evil one and the devil. Jesus warned us to be ready. He has warned us. It's not an encouragement. It's a warning. It is a command that we should stay. We should watch. We should watch. We should watch. And then he says, he did that he also said to his disciples, to watch and to pray. And to pray. Why do we have to pray? We have to pray because we don't know the times and seasons as we should. And we don't know what's happening. The devil is out 24-7 with all his cohorts. But we are supposed to be God's representative here, teaching and helping everyone so no one is lost. We may be the only Bible some people will ever read. So we must be sure that we constantly are watching and praying. And we have put on all his armor to fight the devil in every way. Please, please, let us not say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The Lord himself has given us an ability to be able to overcome all of this. 
Then we must pray. We must pray. We must pray. When we pray, we must look out for the answers. We must look out for the answers. A church met to pray because it was not raining in their community. They met to pray that it will rain. It was only a little child who brought an umbrella. Are you that ch like child? Because you have faith and when you pray, things will happen. But we also are commanded to watch and pray. Because when we pray, we are supposed to look out for some of the solutions we can provide. A father leading his family in their devotional time prayed about the needs of a poor widow across the street. He listed the things she, the widow, would need and proceeded to tell the Lord how to send them. Tears of sympathy rolled down his wife's cheeks because she felt for this widow. But the couple's son wasn't praying. He was thinking. When his father had said, Amen, instead of also saying Amen, he just said to the father, Dad, please give me your wallet, and I'll go over and answer your prayers myself. Because I know that the things you're praying about, the, the groceries and provisions, the health uh, medications that the lady needs and all, they are all in your pocket. They are all in your wallet. <laughs> As somebody said, It's in your pocket. Sometimes when we pray, we should be ready to give the answer, solutions, because we are, it is in our power. Somebody wants some protection. Somebody wants some job. Somebody wants um, some money. Somebody wants attention. Somebody wants a scholarship. Somebody wants a visit. Somebody wants support. Somebody wants a shoulder around them. Somebody wants to say, It'll, to hear, it is well. And, and, and we have the answers. We have the solutions. So let us, let us practice like this young um, person um, wanted to practice. After dad and mom have prayed, he wanted to practice. So I pray that we will understand that we must watch, yes, and watch out for Jesus' coming. But we must also watch when we pray that there are people around us who need all our support in various ways, including our money and time. And I pray the Lord will give us the resources to be able to live up to expectation as we watch and pray. Amen. Our Methodist hymn 116 will, will crown our service this, this, this today. We sing about the king who is coming to reign. Glory to Jesus, the lamb that was slain. And we are looking out for, for, for him. Life and salvation his empire shall bring. Joy to the nations when Jesus finally appears and becomes king. Um, come let us sing. Praise to our king. Jesus our king. Jesus our king. This is our song to whom, who to Jesus belong. We as all believers and belonging to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. To Jesus, our King.
us close our service by praying. But we are praying so that you and me can go out as we watch to also provide solutions to people who need them. Our Father, we thank you for this afternoon and the opportunity to hear your word. You have told us to watch and to pray. Watch out we ourselves so we don't fall into temptation and fall away from, 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 the, from the crowns and from the home that you are building for us. But also watch out for other people who are in need and we can bring them support. They may be near, like our, people, our friends who may not be well with the COVID um, and, and, and the pandemic that's going on. And also people who have all kinds of illnesses. People are looking forward to jobs or education. People are looking forward to relationships and, 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 and solutions to the challenges they have in their relationships. We can help. We can bring encouragement to all of them. And, and, and also people who are looking for some money to do anything that we, you, you, you give us so we can support them. We pray that we'll be able to help them. Then we also have people who are far away and need our prayers and our support. People in Cameroon, people in um, Afghanistan, who have all kinds of serious troubles because the, 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 the Taliban and then the um, 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 jihadists are, are worrying and troubling and fighting and killing and maiming and, and doing all kinds of things to them. Lord, have mercy on each and every one of them. Provide. Give them encouragement and support to stand the test so they don't quit in their faith. But we also pray that you bring the resources for those who must leave Afghanistan, those who must also find settlements in, in, in places like Cameroon, in, and in, even in our, our nation, there are people who need all kinds of support. We pray, Lord, that you would provide these things for them. We know here's when we pray. We have asked in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us receive the benediction. Unto him who is able to keep you from falling, and to help you to watch and to pray, and to prepare you to present to him himself without spot or wrinkle, I commit to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May this same God lift up the light of his countenance on you, give you his peace, both now and always. Amen. <laughs>